take you back Back to all the golden times When we first met I knew right from the start I will always remember Those shivers down my spine As long as you are near I'll keep on trying To turn back time set up the 30 gallon lagoon let's go in this episode we're gonna set up the innovative marine 30 gallon long so if you guys have been following this channel for some time you know that this is not my first time with that aquarium so a while back I ended up selling it to get some stuff and now it is back but before we jump in, don't forget the easiest way to support this channel is to like, subscribe, and leave a comment and let us know that you like what you're seeing. The tank is in my office. I kind of got a little bit ahead of it. Um, I put a little, what, 10 pounds of, uh, of Fiji pink sand. So we're gonna head to the LFS. I need another 10 pounds. And we're also gonna do an instant cycle. So I know a lot of people say that that's not doable, but guys, it is. I've done it so many times, and I'm gonna show you how. Let's do it. All right, guys, so I wanna show you where in my office it's located. I did add the LED lights, because as you guys know, I like lights. So, step right in. So I work from home predominantly, so here we have the 30 gallon lagoon. So something that I was looking for in the past 30 that I had, it was the black stand. I got white stands in the past and I've actually was looking for the wooden one. So I love this finish. Will I wrap it in the future? I don't know, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, but I love it. I did add 10 pounds of Fiji pink for flow. I got the mighty jet pump right here with the controller brand new you got two returns right here sock two socks actually and guys i can't wait to set this up so right now we're going to our lfs we're gonna get some salt water so here's what we're gonna do for actually let's go back to the living room because i'm gonna show you how we're gonna do an instant cycle which is like 99 percent safe for your fish and everything and for you experienced reefers, I know you've done this in the past, so the keyboard warriors, I'm ready. So, I have been cooking live rock for a long time. Guys, this has been down here probably six, seven months. I've had rock cooking in the sun. I probably got at least 50, 60 pounds of rock down here. So the way we're gonna harvest this, in, the way we're gonna create this instant cycle is I'm gonna grab 20 gallons of established water. And guys, I know uh, bacteria does not colonize on water, but um, this will definitely help. So I'm gonna grab water from here, and I'm gonna grab pretty much all established rock. I'm also gonna hit it with some microbacter, and we should be good to go. So leave a comment below, let me know if you've done this. And a little secret, guys, I did this in this tank, and I did it in Fire Island and not a single fish casualty. So, let's go. All right, guys. That's the guy I always tell you about, Pascal. Who is he? The, that dude that I went to school with. You went to school with him? Yeah. All right, guys, so I'm heading to Sea in the City. It's right next to my house. I live in the Orlando area. Um, I typically go to the other bigger box stores, but this is right around the corner, guys, and they always have some hidden gems. So, so far, for the 30 gallon long, I only have one fish, and that is my maroon clownfish, which is in my sump. He's been in there, honestly, for uh, almost a month. Um, so leave a comment, what other livestock should I add? Should I add some chromis? 
I do want to keep it pretty simple because I'm mainly going to focus on corals. So I don't want anything that, um, that can jeopardize the coral. Also, it is 30 gallons, so I can't go crazy with, um, you know, with big fish because I don't want the tank police on me. I know you're out there. Um, so we're on our way there. Let's cross our fingers that they got sand. They should have sand. Maybe they'll have a little hidden gem, something that we're not expecting. You've been on a Charles kick? Yes. And guys, I've been on a chalice kick. So if you watched the last video, you saw all the fire that I got. So me getting this tank, honestly, I want to add torches. I want to add SPS. So that's going to be something that's going to be kind of interesting because, you know, they say that you can't keep SPS in a, a smaller uh, tank. And this, I mean, I consider this a nano tank. It's under 50 gallons. It's 30 gallons. It's an all-in-one. So I want to keep chalices. I want to keep SPS. I want to keep torches. The list goes on. So I got multiple tank syndrome. I'm sure a lot of you do. So let me know what kind of tanks you have. If you have the 30 gallon long, I'd be interested to see what kind of corals you have in there, what kind of fish you have, how long it's been up. Um, but yeah, we're pulling up now, so let's see what they got. All right guys, so I'm here at the LFS, got my buckets. Don't judge me, I don't have an RO unit yet, and I got like a million tanks and a YouTube channel and a bunch of corals. But I will have an RO unit soon. That's gonna be the next project. Also guys, um, I did start dosing. I got the pumps, everything is going great, but I wanna wait another week or two before I release that video because I wanna I wanna give you guys that. I wanna tell you, you know, how long it took me to get my 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 alkalinity to where I wanna be, the calcium where I wanted to be, and we're almost there. So let's go right in. Alright guys, so 20 pounds Fiji Pink, that should get us at least another inch, that's what she said. And that way if we want to have gobies, wrasses, we can, there we go, nice to thick. Smoothen this out. I don't like my sand bit too thick. And I don't like it too th thin. You know, that in between. There we go, look at that, look at that. That's a solid inch. Some people like two inches. How many inches do you like? Leave a comment below. <laughs> but yeah. Now if you're gonna keep some fish, like jawfish and things, you probably wanna make it a little deeper. They can really burrow in there, but this is mainly going to be for corals, so I don't need it too thick. All right, well, let's get this in the trash and start getting our water. All right, guys, so now that we got the sand, we got to get the rock for the aquascapes. Like I said, I've been cooking this rock for some time. I'm going to come take a peek at the sump. Now, the skimmer is clearly over skimming significantly which I, we're gonna address that. But first thing we wanna do is get some of this rock out of here, especially rock that we think we use. So, definitely this rock, nice little flat rock. Gonna have to be careful with the heaters. Last thing I wanna do is crack it. 
this rock is a really nice piece. Now, I don't want to pull too much out at once, because I don't want to affect all the, what's going on. Oh, that came out. Let's put the dosing hose back in here. So we got these two nice rocks, and then I'm going to grab one rock from the 170. But let's put these in real quick. And then we'll grab one or two more pieces and see how that looks. Let's go back to the 170. So right now, I don't have one of those fancy pumps, so I'm just filling it up. That mighty jet return is so strong. I'm hoping I can run this whole system with maybe one power head. But look how strong that thing is. This is all established water from my aquarium, all live rock. I'll probably pick it up now. The reason I put it in the back was because I never turned on the pump since I got it. So I wanted to make sure that it worked. And so far, so good. It's actually not that murky either, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna turn it off. All right, so we turn it off for the time being. Let's get more water. Okay, so I'm gonna test the salinity. Make sure everything looks good. I believe the water level is pretty good. I'm wiping the glass. So, grab this. We want to be at 1.025, it's perfect salinity. And with aquarium, if you're 0.01 over or under, we could probably make it work. But you want to be close to that. We're using our refractometer. All right, survey says. Yeah, put it towards the light. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, there's a light in here, Doug. Yeah, 0.025. Perfect, 0.025. So salinity looks pretty good. I'm gonna wipe the glass really good. For lighting, for the time being, I have two spare Kessel A80 tuna. It's not ideal for coral growth, even though you can grow coral with those lights. But because for the time being, I only have the clown in here who's not even panting. He's doing pretty good. Um, it'll do. And then ultimately, I do want to replace them. Ideally, what I'd like to do is grab the AI primes from the living room, put them here, and then run um, a Radeon Gen, two Radeon Gen 5s in the 350. But to get this up and running, we're going to use the Kessel A80 tunas, which I have at the moment. I think this looks pretty good for the time being. So guys, in this tank, I do want to grow SPS. So leave a comment below and let me know if you've grown SPS with this light. I got this light for a nano tank a while back. Um, 
I had one and then Hector had one and he let me borrow it because he knew I was going to do this. I don't think you can grow SPS successfully with this, but maybe you can. I know soft curls and LPS you can probably get away with. It has a really pretty glimmer, mm -hmm. which is nice. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe everything, make it look really good because it's still a little messy. We're going to put some of those buckets away and I'm going to show you the final product. So before I let this cookie be and, and let it do its thing, I do want to add some microbacter. So we do have a lot of beneficial bacteria here because all this rock has been cooking for well over a year. So it's definitely seeded. It's water, 100% water from my main display. Um, so it's definitely good to go. But just to be safe, because we love our fish, I am gonna add some microbacter. And I mean, this little guy's already swimming around, zero panting, which is always a good sign. So it's one cap full per 25 gallons. I'm gonna add one and a half because it is um, 30 gallons just to be safe. I'm gonna shake it up nicely. You don't want to overdo it with microbacter either. So I think one, one and a half capfuls will do the job. I think we're in business. So let me clean this up and then um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, so the tank is up and running. Check out the aquascape. Took me a little while, I'm pretty sure I got bit by some bristle worms because like I said, this has been in here cooking for a while. But I'm pretty satisfied with the aquascape. Got a nice little arch, some ledges. And then we got these little island. But everything looks pretty good. I did add some LEDs in the background. I still got to decorate this whole office, but we got the tank in here, which is the most important. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Zola Tank Boys. I can't end this video without giving a shout out. So I'm going to place this week's comment right here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Till next time, Zola Tank Boys out.